ISO stands for the International Organization for Standardization. It was, it's French and so that's why it comes out ISO instead of IOS. And the ISO Technical Committee 145 standardizes graphical symbols on a worldwide basis as well as safety sign formats and safety label formats and colors and how you integrate the symbols and colors onto signage so that safety can be communicated on a worldwide basis consistently. That's the key, consistency. Yellow is used on a warning sign, a warning triangle, and it's the background color for a black symbol and it indicates that a potential hazard is present. And then there are prohibition signs. It's a red circle with a red slash going through it at a 45 degree angle, upper left to lower right, and it has a black graphic symbol behind it and those signs indicate something that you should not do or you have the potential to interact with a hazard and get hurt. Then you have mandatory action signs, and these are blue circles, white graphic, and they indicate an action that you should take in order to avoid a hazard. Typically, you might use those for like personal protective equipment, wearing hard hats, wearing eye protection, that type of thing. And then you have the symbols having to do with fire equipment. They're a red square with a white flame determinative element and a white graphical symbol indicating what the equipment is, such as a fire extinguisher or a fire alarm. And then you have green squares with white graphics in them and they're for the location of safety equipment or safe condition like the cross which would be used for first aid, the running man going through an open door and that's to indicate that there's an emergency exit in this direction, that type of thing. So green, red, blue, yellow, in ISO they all indicate a different type of safety message. So as you get closer to the sign you'd see not just the color, but the symbol, and the symbol would tell you what the specific message is. That's the vocabulary of how color is used in ISO. ANSI, ANSI, it stands for the American National Standards Institute. Now ANSI Z535 is a committee within ANSI that standardizes safety signage. The overall purpose of the ANSI Z535 committee is to establish a national uniform system for hazard recognition. So people can see a sign, a label, or tag, or a barricade tape and automatically understand that's something to do with safety. Without standardization, it would be all over the place. The signal word panel is the top portion of a safety sign in the ANSI vocabulary of formatting. The signal word helps to define that sign so that it stands out from the noise of all the other signs that you, you confront on a day-to-day -day basis. So for ANSI, these signal words are danger, warning, caution, notice, and safety instructional messages. Danger with the color red means that if you interact with a hazard, you will incur a serious injury or death. Warning is the next step down in severity and it has a black signal word warning on an orange background. And that indicates that interaction with the hazard could result in serious injury or death. Next is caution with a yellow background, black signal word. And it indicates that interaction with the hazard could result in minor or moderate injury. Not severe injury or death, but minor or moderate injury. So the result is different. Those are the three signal words having to do with hazard alerting signs and they're structured according to seriousness level. There are two other categories of signs according to ANSI. The notice signs, which are blue background, and that indicates a hazard that is non-personal injury related. They're to be used for housekeeping rules and security type of signage, you know, visitor sign-in procedures, that type of thing. And then you have, finally, the safety instructional message. It can be safety instructions, it could be safe boiler shutdown procedure, it can be lockout procedure. The more specific, the better, in our view. I mean, it's not in the danger warning caution sign. It's in the safety instructional part of the message. And in this way, it allows the danger warning caution sign to be clear and concise so it can be readily understood. And that's how the ANSI Z535 standard uses color and signal words to convey different severity levels.